been treating sewage at our Leeds facility, which is called Nostrop, for around 100 years now. Uh, and we're investing the, the largest amount in this five year period, 72 million pounds, in a new anaerobic digestion facility. So anaerobic digestion makes us uh, achieve much greater environmental performance. Previously at our Nostrop site, we had a sewage sludge incinerator. It used huge amounts of fuel oil to treat our sewage sludge. Now with anaerobic digestion, we are converting that waste into biogas, which we turn into electricity and heat, and that allows us to be much more self-sufficient and not reliant on carbon sourced electricity. Also, we produce a, uh, an agricultural fertiliser alternative, which is safely recycled to Yorkshire agriculture. So sludge is turned into electricity by being fed into our anaerobic digestion vessels. They are like large stomachs, so they're being fed and uh, they're digested over a period of around two weeks. Uh, that digestion process produces lots of gas and within that gas is methane. The methane is really, really essential as it's the fuel that provides the energy into two combined heat and power en engines. That produces heat and electricity. The heat is used back in the process. The electricity is used to power the site. And our Nostrop facility is the largest energy consuming site we have. And with this investment, coupled with the wind turbine we have on site means that for some of the time, we are being provided exclusively by the power we generate ourselves, which is all green, all renewable. So this is our largest sludge treatment facility. It can process 131 dry tonnes of sewage sludge every day. It has a capacity of 48,000 tonnes per year. It is a huge facility. And in terms of the electricity it generates, it can generate on any single day 100 megawatt hours of electricity. That's a huge amount. It can power on a normal day around 55% of the site power, but with the wind turbine on site as well, it means from time to time that site is exclusively self-sufficient. It also has a huge, a huge contribution to carbon emissions too. We've recently committed as a company to be a key part of the water sector's net zero carbon emissions public interest commitment. This site will reduce carbon emissions Yorkshire water by 15,000 tonnes and that's great for us because we've been on a journey for the last 10 years and seen huge reductions. In fact our carbon footprint today is 80% smaller than it was a decade ago.